Hello everyone, I'm Pierpaolo Ceci, I'm a staff scientist at the National Research Council of Italy and I'm pleased to present to you our last paper entitled Selective Targeting of Melanoma by PEGMAT Protein-Based Multifunctional Nanoparticles that has been published recently on the International Journal of Nanomedicine. Melanoma is a new plastic disease, highly resistant to chemotherapy. The only effective therapy consists in early diagnosis and surgical removal of the primary lesion, while the survival time of metastatic melanoma patients is 3 to 15 months. Therefore, the identification of novel diagnostic and therapeutic tools for melanoma detection and treatment is of utmost importance. In this work, we developed targeted nanoparticles for melanoma diagnosis and treatment. As a carrier, we choose the heavy chain of the human protein ferritin, which has several favorable properties for targeted delivery. Ferritin nanoparticles developed in this work carry the following molecules. Alpha melanocyte stimulate hormone, MSH, is a selective ligand of melanocortin receptors that are overexpressed by melanoma cells polyethylene glycol to increase ferritin stability and mask it from its physiological receptors, rhodamine for detection by fluorescent microscopy, magnetite for detection by magnetic resonant imaging. The ferritin-based nanoparticles were extensively characterized by different physical chemical techniques and shown to maintain the same structural assembly and high stability properties of human ferritin. Melanoma targeting ability of the ferritin-based nanoparticles was assessed in vitro and in vivo. Laser scanning confocal microscopy showed that fluorescent nanoparticles accumulate selectively in a mouse melanoma cells with respect to human colon cancer cells after one hour incubation. Nanoparticles appear to be uptaken by melanoma cells and localized in the cytoplasm and shown in this video. Fluorescent studies on a mouse model of melanoma show that targeted ferritin-based nanoparticles do accumulate to a significantly larger extent in melanoma with respect to untargeted nanoparticles. Conversely, both types of constructs are essentially absent from the surrounding skin. Accumulation on the site of melanoma can be ascribed also to the presence of PEG. In fact, pegylation increases the in vivo circulation time up to 6 to 24 hours, whereas non-pegylated ferritin disappeared after one hour. In conclusion, we have developed nanoparticles based on a heavy chain of human ferritin. This was detargeted from its physiological receptors by pegylation and targeted towards melanoma by genetically linking the protein and termini with alpha MSH peptide. The developed nanoparticles were shown to be able to selectively target melanoma cells in vitro and in vivo. Therefore, they may be exploited for the development of selective diagnostic and therapeutic agents against melanoma and against different tumors. Finally, these are the authors who participate in this work and the institutions and funding bodies that we want to acknowledge. In particular, for myself, the Italian Association for Cancer Research and the Italian Ministry of Economy and Finance and for Dr. Luca Vannucci, the Fondazione Anna Villa and Felice Rusconi, and the Institutional Research Concept. That's all, and thank you for your attention, and read the paper on International Journal of Nanomedicine.